chair but I still do. Unsatisfying answers is something I'm getting used to so should you. Own your insecurities they say. Own your demons your past they say. It's true it's getting hard to ignore it can't just leave it in the grey. I don't want to claim some of the shit I've been through. So I pretend it don't exist you have nothing to compare to. That's not a reflection of me. Those waters are fucking filthy at least now I'm slightly filtered. Couple lily pads, some fishies. I'm tired, I wanna sleep. Dreaming away these feelings, probably the lack of fresh air or the cancer I was breathing. Things were weird really quickly. Parallels my current thinking. I've been muddled, swift in pacing, but kind of fun if I was faking. You know? Just me. Questioning myself again. The only person questioning myself is still me, just playing pretend because I found I'm so much like everyone that I don't want to be like it. I'm becoming an otherness within myself, I am not. So yes, asking me to be myself is a little bit too much to ask because I haven't found it yet. I might tell you something today that contrasts what I said yesterday, I don't know, but I know, I know a lot of just things. Facts keep me warm, I like being sure, but that's a state of mind for me that exists more like an anomaly. Now, are you still smart if no one's there to witness it? They tell me I got stupid since my last visit. Because now, I just want to look at the stars and the sun and be a bit dumb for once. If I don't like thinking this far, maybe I just don't like being smart. Why does me talking like this make you feel in the dark? You're not in the dark, you're not dumb. You just never had anyone to tell you you're special. I had everyone to tell me I was special, but that means I couldn't find out for myself. You raised those expectations, now I'm feeling dumb too. I revert to being a child just to learn something new. I used to hate being Miss Red, but now I love it. Everyone gets it wrong and they just can't help it. You can't guess my code. I really changed it. It's fun watching you prod though. Just three mistakes left, bitch. A joke now, but none of it's funny. If I'm really honest, when I'm anxious, is that the real me? So many things I can't proceed. I'm not good with stuff. The truth is heavier than I thought it would be. No, seriously, it's heavy. Brittle bones and shit. I might die. If at least I die tired. Just because your eyes are closed doesn't yet mean you're blind It hurts me to be mean, a lesson that's keeping me kind You wanna take an eye for an eye, let the whole world go blind? Some people have to be blind sometimes Probably do with some good If you couldn't see me, I think I'd be better understood Thank you <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that poem I wrote when I was 17. Um, yeah, it feels like a long time ago. Um, but yeah, it was about anxiety and it's a good poem to do first because if you're anxious, then now you spoke about it and it's gone. So I feel better now. Um, cool. The next piece I'm doing, I'm doing them as my age has progressed. So this piece is called Manifest and it should, it's a bit uh, more positive. <laughs> <clears throat> you don't like me like that. You think that you do. But I'll save you the trouble of confessing. You only like me. Because I represent what you're missing. Within, I've shown you how I've mastered things you haven't brought into your world yet. It's fascinating, I know. You can have it. Just not from me, you see, I hoped you could take care of yourself, but hope doesn't actually do anything. I've learned a lot of things from mistaken for love. Attachment is one of them. I thought commitment scared me in relationships. It doesn't, reliance does. Don't depend on me for shit, because I'll disappoint you. And that's only sad on your part. I don't cry over other people's expectations. I cry over spilt milk because you shouldn't have it anyway, but let's not be sad together. My spirit will find any way to make me happy again. You told me it was sad that I was always happy, so I thought it was sad that I was always happy. I manifested shit that would make me unhappy. Bless you, you were so unhappy. You want to wish on me like a star but don't believe in your own power. I only shine north, but that's not where you said you retire. You glance over my shoulder and follow my moral compass. I can't take you home, so you call me a temptress. Now, I don't want to lead you astray, but I will never turn my light off. You know, flames don't cast shadows. With ultimate light, darkness cannot exist, so I haven't yet figured how enlightenment feels like an abyss. It's warm, but it's weightless. There's no fear in this high, but gravity has a key, because only happy thoughts make you fly. You know why. But I think you react too much to the things around you, so you never lose your shadow. Everyone is an empath. Learn, but let it go. You borrow the sorrow of another and become curious of where it came from. Have you ever wondered what something will feel like and been gifted with the experience of where it came from? Be careful what you manifest. Everything wrong in your life is mostly because of you. Don't become a product of your environment. It's exhausting. You do it to excuse yourself responsibility from your choices in life, but I have good news. No one gives a shit about what you do. It's the most amazing thing I ever remembered. It means you don't have to give a shit about what anyone else does either. You create everything in your life. And no one wants to hear that because a lot of people are having a shit time. And no one wants to be told that they're doing it to themselves. But how can you play victim to the world when you are the world? This is your experience. Why do you choose to make it so hard? There are so many things I know that I was never taught. We can learn from people, but we only really believe what we learn from ourselves. Who knew I could become a candle? I guess I knew when I started attracting moths. People that dance around your flames. You know, the universe will make the impossible possible for you when you ask. So law of attraction brought me shadows. I didn't know light could cast. We are taught to fight the demons within, but only what you give attention to can exist. No light bulb will fight against a fly. But the fly dies anyway. You react too much to the things around you. Be careful what you manifest. Fester in what you don't have, and you'll never get what you want. I have mathematical visions, all my times run up back to front. Isn't it fun? You can track the seconds in a day and can capture a moment in time. But in pictures I ponder while I'm still out of place, but the answer is to not question why. Overstanding is a skill you should use for things you care for. There's a timeline for everything. You never understood algebra, but want to teach pi to those who only see in letters. Stop taking responsibility for where people are in life. No, it doesn't make your spiritual resume better, but have fun sharing. With those that want to listen. And be at peace with those in ignorant bliss. It's not always your job to tell them things you don't know for sure yourself. Your knowledge is unique to yourself. So collective purpose. Don't hoard her in your mind. I've stopped collecting seeds. I don't intend to sow in this lifetime, and my garden is beautiful. Because I didn't plant every seed. 
So this is the time to use your power and choose to be free. Thank you. <clears throat> That poem started off, uh, I wrote that about a year ago, and it started off as just someone that liked me and I just knew they didn't really. Did I have one of those? Um, yeah, it turned into like a whole thing, so thank you to that guy. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take you down a bit, so this journey is a bit like a wave. Um, this is called Apathy. I beg myself not to get bored, and fuck, I told myself I'd never beg. Does letting go apply when it's yourself? Do I read a different affirmation instead? No time now, though. This late. Already turned a mistake into a mess. Wow, wonder if my consciousness will wake up now. She always deals with these things the best. She says, there's no room for pity. Your purpose isn't staying in bed. She says, I'm a star in a solar system. I say, I'll believe that even beyond death, because what is apathy worth? Nothing, really. A bit of contrast to a passionate feeling. Not somewhere I like staying. When I feel dead inside, I put myself aside and taught my mind associating. I come back, expect things to be different, but there's no progress when you're always escaping the next you. Picking. What should I care about now? Falling, my eyes are closed and I'm bound to the constellations of a landmine. Shouldn't have mistook collisions for alignment. Sorry, I'm a better me than this sometimes. I just need a slap in the right direction. A pat on the back from a cat in a hat telling me having fun is a decision, so why do I still do fuck shit to feel alive? I don't remember the last time I cried. But I bet I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have. I bet I thought it was a bad thing to feel. I bet I moved on and washed my hands dry, too quick to analyse and learn from the guilt. So I dissect my life like I'm the tumour cutting health out. Built to last like a diamond in the rough, oh, Protect the bigger picture and forget I hold the paintbrush Filing down my spark just to write about the stardust Keep the story going, the first film was the best Sequel after sequel, oh Valor just put it to rest There's nothing here for you now, this is the ending of the end Squeeze dry every lesson, every warning, every test Every test till nothing's left but tomorrow A new dawn that doesn't exist yet Forever rising to fall, oh so cool Just don't get bored Valor, I beg Thank you. <clears throat> so that one, I didn't write too long ago. I wrote that a few months ago when I was in a space where I was just, that like your mind goes into boredom. And for me, when I'm bored, that makes me depressed. Like if I have nothing to do, that's where the depression comes from for me. Um, so I sometimes just do some dumb shit. But it works for me, you know, even if it's a dumb thing to do, just make yourself do something. Um, cool. So this one we're going up again, um, and it's called Epiphany. <clears throat> I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. I'm not and am. So unclear. So unfair. I got away. A way to never land where I'll never leave. You'll still think of me. I'm your daydream. Nothing's ever planned. I'm a loose cannon. Shoot your best shot. Perfect picture, pretty. Perfect candle lit. Stars burning up the backdrop. Keep it secret. Sell it back. I'm the man. I'm the mirror. Kick in the chair. Make it rock. I'm throwing a fit in my cot. You don't understand. I'm throwing a fit in my cot. I'm rocking it too. I'm the inside, the outside, and everything you said you couldn't do. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And I sat down. I was confused when people ran. I thought seeing the light was the enlightenment. I was too arrogant to even stand, let alone bow. I wished I was blind. I didn't know how to walk anymore or talk anymore like myself. But how could I need help if I can see the light, man? I must have been living on the edge of hell and it was so painfully comfortable. But where's everybody now? You didn't want to make that jump. You didn't want to leave that high. You didn't want to feel that drop. So you just told everybody you could fly. So when nobody was around, you slipped down and well, now you're in flight. Just try not to get attached to the high. 
If ignorance be bliss, then be ignorant. I never really deep that line till I tried not to be ignorant. I never really knew how scared I was until I let myself be, be terrified as fuck and learn what laughter actually means. Now anxiety is energy I can mould. Because I took a curious approach. I've been running around leaking fear anyway, so I stopped patching it. Fuck it, I sunk the boat and look at me now. I can float in dangerous waters. Wow, really, look at me now. Do I look like you? We're all God within, I'm your kin, so helping me helps you. If I tell you I'm your sister, do you feel responsibility there? If I tell you I don't give a shit about you, will that help you to not care? You really don't need my validation. Seeking it was enough. I hope you feel disappointed and hate me, that's an authentic type of love, and I'm so at peace I don't want anything. I want everything I can get my hands on. Pain, passion, death, enlightenment, I'm finally learning to enjoy the song, and I sing and I sing and I shut up. I get bored of being wrong. So I sit righteously in silence. Paint a picture, it won't last long and you're just like me. You don't even have to admit it. You can segregate me on a pedestal and learn to get sick of being different. You can stand above me, I'll laugh at your height, one day you'll get lonely and spitefully listen to yourself. You'll sit, you'll sit with me and think about how silly we all were, trying to compare ourselves. And that's not even the end. There's so much more for us to pretend we know, oh, the pursuit of knowledge that it never stop. Just don't expect to actually go anywhere but backwards. Growth is a spiral where I studied my hair and chopped bits of it off because Valor is a coward. I didn't actually want to grow anywhere. I deceived myself into being aware by trying to be ignorant. So tell me what to do, I swear it won't make a difference. Don't speak to me to help me, speak to me to help yourself. When you realise you can't not be selfish, that's when your presence starts to actually help. You've been authentically you the whole time, painfully looking for yourself and chasing a ghost. Time to go back to the beginning, be genuine in peace, and actively, don't rush growth. There we go, you're back home. <clears throat> All eyes on me. That's the feeling I can never describe, the underlayer in all I do. A guilty conscience for something I never did, but I can't prove all your eyes are on me. And I don't think literally, but laterally, there's a horizon that doesn't move, a dim light in the distance that whispers, I see you. That puts hesitation behind every word I say and a, rigid, and a rigidness when I move. Is that spotlight supposed to be God? Is that fear supposed to be sin? Is faith something I'm yet to choose or am I letting the bad voice win? Intuition is a describing word and paranoia describes the same thing. Messages that just appear inside now, am I hiding dissociation as channeling? Well, I say crying because I cry, for joy or pain isn't the question. To see this thing is there, yes, I see it. Is it really there, though? We don't mention. To read a book once. To watch a film and never revisit. To move on and still learn without actually looking for the message. I was gifted slash burdened with eyes that see behind the screen. The man in the mirror is, yes, a human just like you and me. Every cog that turns I feel, every sleight of hand I will perceive. A disease I once called it because I miss the magic. Bring back the smoke. Too many mirrors, I'm sick of being seen. I decode myself and the world around me as just an extension of my belief. I can taste oxygen on my tongue now. And it tells me no apple falls far from, far from the tree. And I realised all this time I spent studying lungs, no better do I breathe. Thank you. <laughs>